Ladies and gentlemen, this is Intervlog. Today we are heading to Edo State, Nigeria because there is something very, very amazing happening in Edo State right now. And it seems like nobody is talking about it, and that is the reason I am here. I am here to show you what is happening in Edo State. Wait! Wait, you don't have the free success today. You all farm. Because they see don't block. But how much do they pay? They say it's a way way. Uh, but it's, it's better than uh, uh, this one. Uh, it better buy. Let me say cheap now. Yes. <laughs> for that, better buy this one. For me say. It, wait, madam. You say that success today. You off your freezer. Yes. My people say ad block. Yes. Wait to. Ah, um, madam, when I get flat on this place. No, I guess you're not already. <laughs> good morning. Good afternoon, sir. Very very soon, we're not going to use nepa again for a do. Naomi, this one Naomi, my brother, I shock you. I be wanna share this video. <laughs> yeah, so now each local government, my brother, each local government, those areas, let me say, like not uh, no lies. You can see, my people. Tell me why we no go continue to talk about the good work. So about what they do. As you watch this video, make sure you share it. Edo is actually becoming great again. There is a jubilation going on across Edo State right now because Governor of Edo State, Governor Obaseki, has done something very amazing. Something that most of the governors in Nigeria would like to do. But for one reason and the other, they were not able to do it. But Obaseki did it, and that is the reason. Jubilation is everywhere. The last time something like this happened was in Abia State, when Alex OT commissioned power company that provide uninterrupted electric power supply in Aba, Abia State. Now another one is happening in Edo State. Governor Obasaki has launched an uninterrupted power supply in Edo State. Firstly, it has started from small communities. And after, it is being tested and confirmed that the supply is actually very nice. Then, it is being distributed across the Edo state. According to what we are seeing here, the Orr community now has uninterrupted power supply in Edo state. After Microgrid Solar Farm took over from the Napa, another place where the light is now continuously is in Anya community. Good afternoon, my brother. Good afternoon. My name is Zenvina Chinedu and Emeka. You are highly welcome. We have with me some of our team. They are still in the field okay. trying to make sure today our main target today is to get about one or two streets powered. Wow. Because the whole of that, that street. The whole of that street. We want to get them that street and that street. Because of that, most of us are still in the field. Currently, Amufa Street is okay. already completed. Okay. Then Oyakiri Street is also completed. Like I said today, our main target today is to energize. Wow. Once that is done today, we have um, other three streets down to Osipo, wow. which we've already laid our pipe. Outside there, you see our transmission cable. By next week, we'll continue to do that very well. And, hmm. continue our and they keep expanding and expanding. And everybody in Edo State is celebrating and jubilating and expecting to know when his street will receive the uninterrupted power supply. This is very, very amazing. I had always said it from time to time that once Nigeria begin to realize that each state has to solve its problem, not generally, not nationally, because there is no way a country can develop federally. You can't develop entire country the same day. Therefore, you must have the people who work harder than the other, and when they are developing, other people will be copying from them. Now, at least two states have uninterrupted power supply, which is Abia State and Edo State. And that is amazing. Other states will have to copy from them. But one amazing thing about the Edo State power supply is that it is a renewable energy. It is from the sun, the bill is cheap, and the power is strong. This creates job for everybody because they keep expanding. And I believe once they finish from Edo State, they are also going to another state to give them electricity. Power is very important in life, and I am happy that some Nigerian governors are now getting it right.
they never experienced things like this in their life because since of the creation of Nigeria, electricity has been intermittent, coming and going, coming and going. They give you eight hours and then they take 16 hours. That means you don't have electricity. Thank God for governors like Obaseki who have just realized that there is no way you can solve this problem at once. He started from small community, solving it from community to communities, solving it from street to street, replacing Nepal with solar farm. This is unbelievable. I had said it in most of my videos that Obaseki is a smart governor. When you see one, you know it. I have seen so many things that I will talk about in Edo State, not only because of this electricity, but I am coming back again to show you amazing things happening in Edo State, which people do not know about. And that is what this channel is all about. Our own is to dig into your state and show you what is happening right there, like what is happening right now in Edo State, Nigeria. I had been saying it before that Africa has enough sun. Why not to rely on solar energy, which is renewable energy, which is even much better. But each governor enters, they steal money, they bank it into Suiza Bank, different banks, they stole money, and then EFCC will arrest them. And problem here and there, those monies, or those money that the governors are stealing, hiding from one place to another, trying to save for his future family, could actually solve the problem. We have seen the good example of it from what Alex Oti is doing in Abia State and what Obaski is doing in Edo State, making sure that he provides electricity because he knows that the electricity is the key. Power is the key. Give people uninterrupted power supply. The development will come in a day. As we can see, you can see this man, Pastor Alfred Ojon, going from house to house, asking people question, and everybody is happy. And not only, all this building express here, building flyover, 24 flyovers, 350 flyovers. They are useless without electricity. Use that money and provide power, power into your state. This is how smart Obaseki is. He refused to use his money to build 500 flyovers. Provide electricity first, later on, any other thing can follow. His nice you are getting money from Abuja. Every month you use it, you pay salary and you build flyovers. If that money stopped coming, you will never have electricity. Use that money provide electricity for people and that is a and that is the reason i so much respect enahudo ayo4 who is the commissioner for mining and energy in edo state because he said that his focus is only on electricity to make sure that there is power in every house in edo state if your home has not gotten the connection it will get to you very soon because the governor started from communities many communities now have two four seven power supply video updates. Thank you for watching Intervlog. Thank you.